Good afternoon. Today, the Bulldog Nation welcomes our new women's basketball coach, Coach Abe. <laughs> coach Abe is one of our own, a former Lady Bulldog who played for UGA legend Andy Landers. She is a champion, a proven leader whose teams have earned remarkable success during her 17 years as a head coach. Her squads at Central Florida, Albany, and Missouri State secured regular season and conference championships, as well as multiple NCAA tournament bids. Coach Abe has been named a league coach of the year on four separate occasions while guiding seven women to player of the year awards in their conferences. She is the right leader at the right time to build upon the great and rich history of Georgia women's basketball at the University of Georgia and we are delighted to welcome her back. Coach, we cannot wait to cheer on the Lady Bulldogs with you at the helm and you leading our student athletes to achieve excellence not only on this court, but in the classroom as well. To you, to Michael, to Savannah and Brooklyn, welcome home to the University of Georgia, and go dogs! And now I'd like to uh, introduce our athletic director, Josh Brooks. Thank you. Thank you all for being here today. Um, yeah, I cannot thank y'all enough. It's just so great to see all of you here. We have a phenomenal fan base. I've said it before, I'll say it again. It is a great day to be a dog. Um, first of all, I want to thank President Moorhead, Therese Griffin, Stephanie Ransom, everyone on my exec team. This truly was a team effort uh, coming together to, to lead this search, and I cannot thank them enough for their support throughout this process. I am so excited to introduce you to Coach Abe today. You know, Coach uh, President Moore had already mentioned some of her accomplishments. I'm going to give you a few more. We could spend all day here telling you about her 17 years as head coach. In her career, 17 years, her teams won 16 conference championships. That's right, 16 championships in 17 years. Think about that. Of those 17 years, her teams made the postseason 14 times, and we all know one of those years was canceled due to COVID. So out of 16 attempts, they were in the postseason 14 times. Her teams averaged 22 victories a season with a 70% winning percentage over that time. That's right. Again, we could go on and on about her resume, but let me tell you about some of the things that you won't hear on her resume. She's a proven leader. She's someone who cares about her student athletes. She believes the empowerment of young women and developing the generation's next leaders. She's gonna care about our student athletes on the court, in the classroom, in the community. She's fiercely loyal to her family, her staff, her coaches, her student athletes, and the community. We all know that she played here for two years before transferring, and we're just glad that we finally have Coach A back home. And her entire staff.
Okay, I'm gonna move this up because there clearly everybody was shorter than me talking on this mic. Hello, everybody. Go dogs. Well, I, I have a piece of paper here I'm going to read because I don't want to forget anything, and then I'll, I'll obviously answer some questions. I'm super excited to be here. I'm honored to be named the next head women's basketball coach at the University of Georgia. I'm looking forward to this journey, and I cannot wait to start building long-life relationships along the way. I see the team right there. Hi, team. I talked to them last night, so... They're, they they kind of know my personality a little bit. I need to say thank yous, obviously, to a lot of people. Thank you to President Moorhead. Thank you to Josh Brooks. Thank you to Therese for the opportunity to coach at one of the best women's basketball programs, one of the best women's basketball programs in the country. I also have to, no matter what, thank... Uh, UCF and some people there. Uh, I want to thank our former players at UCF for all the record-breaking seasons that we had. We had six of them. Awesome, awesome young women. Uh, they will always be family to me. And you'll meet some of them because they'll, they'll definitely come visit us and come see us. Obviously, I want to thank the UCF administration, President Cartwright and Terry Mahajer, for all their support and belief in the system to help put UCF women's basketball on the national map. To my family, uh, my husband, Michael, is right here. This is my husband, Michael. Go ahead, clap it up for him. <laughs> Listen, if you, if you don't have a spouse in this business that gets this, you know, it, it could be really difficult. I'm very blessed to have him. He loves women's basketball. He's in women's basketball. He referees women's basketball. He's, he refereed in the WNBA, so he loves women in sports, so I'm very blessed to have him as my rock. Obviously, I have two daughters, uh, Brooklyn and Savannah. Uh, to my staff that was formerly at UCF with me, um, I have a couple of them here. Tani Valerio, I'm going to have her stand up. She's not going to want to stand up, but I'm going to have her stand up. Isokin Uzamare, Ebony Henry, uh, and also who coached with me at uh, UCF was uh, Nikisha Sales and uh, Stephanie Follett. I mean, it takes, it takes every single one of us to make our dreams a reality, and I appreciate you for trusting and believing in me as your leader. Uh, being back here where I started my college career, it's a dream. It's crazy. I saw some pictures of me, and I'm like, please take those down. My hair, what was I thinking back then? To be able to come back and lead this historic program is very exhilarating to me. My staff and I have rebuilt two programs, um, taking them to the bottom, all the way from the bottom, eight games, seven games, all the way to the top, winning conference championships and going to the NCAA tournament every single year. Um, so that, that's a huge accomplishment for me and my staff. Georgia women's basketball, on the other hand, is a winning program already. It's a winning program already. So I can only imagine where we could go from here. One thing you'll hear me say all the time is enjoy the journey, one step at a time, one day at a time, because, you know, uh, it could get overwhelming to think about how many games we have to play, and so I'm always telling our team one game at a time, one day at a time, and we'll, let's enjoy it every single day that we go through it. I believe in winning. I believe in winning on the court. I believe in winning in the classroom, and I believe in winning in life. The number one reason, and I'm going to repeat it, the number one reason I coach is to empower young women, period. So I'm going to have the team stand up. I told them last night they have to stand up. So here we go, stand up. And I want you to give them, everybody here in this room, a big hand of, of applause. Listen, we all love Georgia basketball, and we all love being Georgia Bulldogs, but no matter what, these are the young women that do it every day. These are the young women that go to work every day. These are the young women that have to go to classes every day. These are the young women that have to get good grades. I mean, they, they're the ones that do it. 
If they, we don't have them and, the, and they don't love this place, nobody up here has jobs. So I'm always going to make sure we empower them. That's going to be our number one goals. That's what my staff's goal all the time is to do, is to empower them and make them great. You guys want to keep standing and you want to sit? You can sit. <laughs> my philosophy, uh, and I know a lot of people say it, um, is family first. And that means the university family, that means the athletic department family, that means our women's basketball family, obviously that means my family. Um, that's what that means, and we're going to always be that way. The second is academics, it's always going to come first. After um, basketball ends, their careers and what they're going to do the next 55 years of their life, and not just the next five after playing college basketball in the pros or wherever they can play. There's going to be something they have to fall back on, and it's definitely going to be academics in their career. So that's going to be always important to my staff and I. And obviously the last thing is basketball. You can clap for academics. Go for it. So family academics means fab, fabulous. They're going to be fabulous. So we, we really stand by that all the time. Our teams will always have energy. They heard this last night because they asked my coaches, what is it that I really want to see? Always have energy. They're always going to play hard, and they're definitely going to be great teammates. You're going to see them all the time high-fiving each other. You're going to see them all, all the time cheering for each other. They're definitely going to be great teammates. Those have always been the way we've coached, and that's, to be honest, how we've been really successful. Basketball-wise, because I know you all want to hear about basketball, um, our style of play uh, is always going to be up-tempo. We're going to play fast and aggressive. That's a key, that word, aggressive. We will recruit those type of versatile players offensively. We're going to play inside and out. We're not just going to play outside. We're going to play both. So everybody's going to have a role on our team, and they're going to do it really, really well. We're going to defend for 40 minutes at an intense level because, in my experience, in all the championship teams I've played, the common theme is lockdown defense. I know everybody wants to see pretty three-point shots, but the teams that are playing in the NCAA tournament and the teams that are playing in the Final Four, they have lockdown defense. So that's what we're going to do because we want to be a championship team. When I played here for Coach Landers, I'm going to say Coach Landers because I feel like I shouldn't say Andy Landers, but uh, when I played here for Coach Landers, our teams were tough, they were aggressive, and they were physical. That will continue. Our players and coaches will know when they wear that Georgia logo on the front of their chest, there's honor behind that name because the foundation was set by some of the best basketball players in the world. Not in the country, the world. And, and Andy Landers obviously was one of the best coaches in, in the country in the world. I mean, in my opinion, he's, in a, he's one of the best coaches that ever coached the game. I will lead this program with so much pride for our name, my staff and I, we cannot wait to get started. When I played here, this place was rocking. I feel the same excitement here today. All I need you all to do is come back next year and cheer us on, empower these young women to play really hard. That's what we're looking for. Go dogs! All right, Coach, we're going to now begin the media portion of today's program. We ask media, if you have a question, please raise your hand, state your name and affiliation. We'll start with Brandon Sudge. Hey, Coach, I'm uh, Brandon Sudge with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. I mean, obviously, uh, coming to Georgia, a huge step in your career, but um, you already have some assistant coaches here with you, and it speaks to the continuity of uh, the staff that you had at Central Florida and that you brought here. I mean, how important was that to kind of uh, bring the people who you knew with you to sh to carry on those values that you uh, that you guys prided yourself on over these last couple of years um, um, at your last stop? Yeah, great question. Thank you. Um, I 
everything we're still in the process of what we're doing and and who who I'm going to hire and but it's always going to be be about we and not about me it's never going to be that way it's going to be about we too the players it's always going to be about that um I've just been very blessed to have coaches that played for me uh that enjoyed playing for me that wanted to get into coaching um and I've been blessed to have the ability to hire some people that have been with me I mean for 12 years, 15 years, everything. So, I think the continuity for all my teams that I've coached that was really big because uh you know these 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 coaches they really know me, they know they know my philosophy, they know everything about me. So, I mean that's super big. I mean, really you answered your own question. The continuity and the consistency is I think is really really big. I'm Clayton Baxley with the uh, Athens Banner Herald. Uh, welcome to Athens again. Um when did uh leaving UCF kind of become something that, you know, was something that you're kind of looking at and was it the when the Georgia job opened or when did when did, you know, leaving the UCF job kind of be on your forefront? I I I can't hear him. Sorry, I can't. It's such a echo. I didn't really hear. <laughs> Sorry. When when did the was some was leaving UCF something that you were kind of thinking about or was it the this is the perfect job of of you know coming to Georgia was you know coming home when did that kind of uh, start going on in your mind I'm assuming can you hear him what <laughs> oh okay when did i when did i what no i wasn't i was not i and i told the team last night they played on friday night we and uh, they played Dayton we played on saturday we played who did we play Florida, Florida. Sorry, we played Florida. They know I don't. And then, you know, I didn't I didn't you know, I didn't know anything about this opportunity. And then I think they played on Sunday, we played on Monday, and then we flew home. We played at nine o'clock at UConn. We we flew home, we got home super late from the game, and then we flew home on Tuesday morning. We were all, you know, exhilarated, excited, tired, the whole works, and then um I think Wednesday morning, uh that's when uh, coach Taylor decided to take her other job and that's kind of when i heard of it so it was really fast everything's been really fast and furious and crazy and exciting and all the work so i mean that's pretty one at much when i heard about it hi coach uh chip towers from the ajc uh can you hear me okay You transferred from Georgia, if I understand correct, and, and didn't finish your career here. Obviously, the transfer portal is a big deal these days. Why did you leave Georgia, and what's your attitude toward the transfer portal now as you take this program over? Not see, look, see, this is what they do. Um, well, back then, obviously, I'm from. I'm originally from Iowa. and about did somebody clap yes Iowa woo <laughs> so back then obviously i was 18 19 years old and at the time i was uh, a decent basketball player um and i was recruited i love coach landers i came down here and it, i was just homesick i mean that was that was a lot after games i'd be done playing games and you know i was really close to my family as you see i'm a family person so that really i i in hindsight it was probably the best thing i really did in terms of coaching because then i got to go home and play for cv of in stringer and so did i know i was going to be a coach absolutely not that's not what i wanted to do i just wanted to empower women so looking back on my career my basketball career and um uh, my coaching career i've been very blessed to play for two hall of fame coaches work for a, several different hall of fame coaches so i think that um you know i think that was god's plan for me to just be able to learn a lot from some really really good coaches And that was the last question. Go dogs.